The advantages of two-stage turbocharging can be highlighted by a diagram. It's always the purpose of a turbocharger to increase air pressure from the ambient pressure P0 to a desired charge air pressure P2. To achieve this pressure, the turbocharger has to perform compression work. The amount of work required to reach a certain air pressure depends on the air's so-called entropy. This value is defined by the temperature and the pressure of the air. If, as in this case, air pressure is constant, the entropy is exclusively determined by air temperature. The higher the air temperature at the turbocharger intake, and consequently its entropy, the higher the amount of work the turbocharger has to perform in order to achieve the desired pressure. In the case of single-stage turbocharging, air temperature, and therefore entropy, is relatively high, so the turbocharger has to perform a large amount of compression work to reach its target pressure. This is not the case with two-stage turbocharging. At first, the pressure curve is the same as for single-stage turbocharging, but only until pressure P1 at the outlet of the low-pressure stage is reached. As shown in the working principle, the charge air is cooled in an intercooler after the low-pressure stage. This way, the air temperature at the intake of the high-pressure stage is lowered considerably, so it now has to perform significantly less compression work to achieve the desired charge air pressure. If you sum up the amounts of compression work that the turbochargers of two-stage turbocharging have to perform to reach the charge air pressure, and compare it to the work that the one turbocharger of single-stage turbocharging has to perform to achieve the same pressure, it becomes evident that two-stage turbocharging requires around 10% less work for the same result. The increased turbocharger efficiency leads to a significant decrease in the fuel consumption of the engine while maintaining its performance. In addition, a higher absolute charge air pressure can be achieved which permits an enhanced application of the so-called Miller cycle. With this method, the inlet valves of the cylinders are closed earlier than usual to optimize the combustion process. This enables either the lowering of nitrous oxide emissions or an even further reduction of fuel consumption. Altogether, two-stage turbocharging allows for fuel savings of up to 5% without any performance loss.